I wanted to know uh, how easy was, was it and how fast or gradual was the process of acceptance, your acceptance by Hollywood stars, by Hollywood studios, when you started out until now. Yeah, you know, you reminded me of something. Um, I have a tendency to to go all over the place. So you just go, hey, and just get me pointed again. But I remember uh, when I was younger, uh, there we went to some Indian event in New Jersey when we were in college, and there was another Indian guy there. I overheard him. He wanted to do films, and he was talking to a group of people, and he was saying, I think his name was Anand or something. I forgot his name. And he uh, was explaining why Indians will never be uh, prominent with their names up there. You're never going to see our name up there with Al Pacino. And I remember him saying Al Pacino very specifically. I don't know why I remember. Him. And I was listening to the thing, and he didn't know. I, you know, I was just a kid, and then you know, he didn't know that I was in the film. And I just kept. I heard him talking, and I just said, "That's not the truth. I just don't think that's the truth. I think we're going to uh, be able to achieve it." Sto story. At the end of the day, story, stories, storytelling is the king, and there's a dearth of it out there, and. Uh, um, they, they, it, they'll, they'll respond to a good story every single time. It'll rise up and it'll get, it'll get its chance. Whenever kids ask me at a college, how do I break in? How do I break in? And I said, have you written a great screenplay? And they go, yeah. And I go, I'm going to give you a shot right now. Hand me the screenplay. If it's not good, you're gonna, that's it. And then they don't hand it to me. And I said, because you'll get, you'll get your chance. You'll get your chance. Are you ready? That, kind of, that is the question. But no, I, I felt um, um, really, really accepted really accepted um, throughout. I think for, for Hollywood, the, the, the thing that, that was a little bit more unusual than than, uh, than necessarily just me being Indian, I think the Indian part added a nice mystique. You know, they're all very kind of, you know, uh, in awe of our little, you know, Eastern philosophies and all that stuff. So we ha I had that going for me. But it was, I, I didn't actually, I don't actually live in uh, California. I live in, in Philadelphia, which is 3,000 miles away, which is just as bizarre, if not more bizarre, to, to make movies in Hollywood and not live there. And so, you know, I would come just like this. I come to Hollywood just like three days every year or every two years, and we fill it with all kinds of meetings and and and, and talk to the people that we need to. But uh, um, I found I found that kind of you know staying staying at home and, and being very personal about the storytelling and not getting too involved in the ups and downs and you know being at a dinner and, see, and hearing someone else talk about movies and this person is making that movie and all this stuff. Believe you know, I'm very susceptible to uh, uh, other people's influences. I think, <laughs> like, I remember I was going to make The Sixth Sense uh, earlier, and I didn't make it because I heard they're making Casper, the Friendly Ghost, and I said, "Oh, I don't want to make that." And can you imagine, like, a lifetime of that insecure person like me hearing all this stuff? Oh, I can't make that. Oh, that guy, the waiter said he didn't like. Well, you know, it would be a mess. You know what I mean? So, in Philadelphia, I'm the only one who makes movies. Like, so oh. I go, you know, play basketball with my friends, and, and my kids think I have a pretty normal job. They see me on, on TV and magazines and stuff. Fairly normal. I'm home for dinner and all this. I try to make it as normal as possible. So with Indian actors? Uh, of, of course, if it was correct. You know, okay. if the casting was correct. Um, not as an agenda. I would never cast anybody as, a, as an agenda, but um, if I could find the right, the right balance, it would be kind of, kind of cool. I've talked about it a bunch of times. On different movies about whether to uh, uh, have bring some of the stars and do some parts in them. I have a difficult time casting any actor with an accent if I'm not using their accent. You know, I have a very difficult. I've done it before where I've asked a British actor to do an American accent or whatever it is, and I find I find it very constraining um, as a director for the for the actor. They tend to lose some of their arsenal. Of, of their skills, and they get they reduce it down to ten or twenty things that they can do with that accent, or they're exaggerating just a hair too much just to hold on to the accent. Um, and so I have a, I have a tough time with that. So that's probably one of the reasons that I would have hesitated. Um, is is just that my philosophy about that in general, whether it's a Spanish actress or a British actor or an Indian actor.